Welcome to Moab. All right, so we're not quite actually to Moab yet, but we're, uh, we're really close. We're like 20 minutes out. We're at a first trail we came to, which is top of the world. Um, did this one last year. It has the most beautiful view ever um, at the top of it. We got both the razors right there somewhere. I can't see my, anything of what I'm actually pointing at because it's too bright. All right, rest of the group got here. We got a Polaris uh, Scrambler 500, new Can-Am four seater so I didn't really do a full overview on this one yet this is a 2019 I believe 1000 it has like eight hours on it now after we went to the sand dunes um, so pretty much brand new uh, has the newer dash than the other one and uh, we just added the light bar uh, windshield was on it and uh, interior lights we put those on but otherwise, that's about it. This one here, we fixed the drive shafts. The rear axles. <laughs> Check these out. Rhino 2.0, supposed to be twice as strong. All right, we're loaded up, we're ready to go. It's a decent little drive in. If you've never done Top of the World, you gotta drive for quite a ways till you get to the actual trail. Um, it's just a road, not real exciting, so. Uh, I will see you when we get actually on like the more exciting stuff. Um, meet you up there. So we're on our way to the top of the world. Uh, got a good group here. Two very experienced guys. My dad's here as well. He's been here three or four times as well. So a lot of good experienced guys. This is my first time really driving. I drove just a little portion of this last year. Um, and I broke uh, one of the tie rods off of the Razor immediately. I'm not an experienced uh, off-roader in this type of terrain at all, so you're probably going to see a lot of incorrect angles and uh, etiquette and all of those things for me, uh, but I got a good group with me hopefully to teach me, and uh, hopefully we won't tear up any machines, but right now, just take a second and check out some of these awesome clips and views from our trip up to the top of the world. That's it. And then we got a little bit of a view here. This is not the top of the world view. This is just the view on the way up. Give it a try. Yeah, he's going back down to give it a try. Go back down. You need to do that, but just faster. Keep it rolling. As soon as it's rolling, it's hard not to let up. Just keep it rolling. Well, that 
wasn't even exciting. <laughs> Go back down and almost roll it next time. I mean, I, that wasn't enough drama. All right, well, we made it safe and sound at the top of the world. Well, most of us, there's two coming yet, but the rest of us made it. <laughs> we figured it out. It's just a, it uh well there's no like nothing to give you any depth, depth perception. Yeah. Like even when you take pictures they don't look So we all made it to the top, no machines broke down, no real uh drama at all. For my first time really driving out here um went pretty well. Uh only hit maybe the front bumper on a rock one time. Got a little bit stuck right to put her in four wheel like three times, maybe something like that on some of the really rocky parts. But overall, I can't I can't complain too much. It was a, it was a good first ride. Um, it's a good trail to start out on. There's a few spots that are a little tougher, but not bad at all. All right, we're going to head back down. My GoPro is dead. So that's that. Um, see you back at the bottom. All right, so on a one to ten, how much should you go see the top of the world? Twenty. Ten? No, no, you don't understand how it works. What you do is it's one through ten. Mm -hmm. So you can't go more than ten. Okay. Twenty. Oh. Huh. We'll be back in a minute. All right. So one through twenty. How much should you go to see Top of the World? Fifty. This is rough. All right, well, we made it back from top of the world. It's actually evening now. Um, we had to go get checked into our hotel, all that type of stuff. Um, this is a condo. I'm not staying here. This is where we stayed last year, if you remember my videos. Um, but uh, we're just about ready to go do steel bender. Um, hopefully, it's light enough out that I can get some video. It's not going to be a lot. I'm not driving. We're just going to take the four-seater, um, and uh, I'll be riding uh, shotgun. So, see how it goes. Guard do if, if there's a dirt section beside it. Going up's definitely the harder way <laughs> for this trail. Yeah, going down, you just go down and fall down. That's yeah, especially with this. Well, that wasn't bad at all. Very nice. It's like the Land Cruiser's next up. Because you're hitting a flat rock right here with the back tire. If you can just get over that way about six inches, you'll go up sort of the up the valley part. I think you'll be fine. Yeah, then I'll bring her back. Keep her going. If you could 
roll it over, that would be even better, just for my purposes. But. <laughs> <laughs> there hasn't been quite enough drama yet. It, it would help me out. <laughs> the Land Cruiser just needs a little, little bit of help. So close. There she goes. Flatbed Jeep is the last one here. And then I'm out of daylight. Yeah, we're gonna need a winch on this one too. All right, next morning here, we made it back from Steelbender last night. It was like 10.30, um, those Jeeps and everybody. Um, got to help them out for a little bit. Um, it was super dark um, for the ride out and um, was much uh, more difficult than what I remember. I thought it was kind of easy after those few obstacles, but it was uh, it was pretty tough. So, so if you uh, enjoyed these rides here, please like, subscribe, share. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.